Oh, hi, my name's Han. I'm a migration agent and uh, immigration lawyer of ISD. Today, I'm going to talk about visa cancellation. So hopefully you will enjoy this video uh, and understand as uh, there are um, reason for visa cancellation. So the reason why your visa might be canceled is that you were non-compliant with the visa condition. So basically, for example, you are on the tourist visa and you are not allowed to work. And if you work, you violate the condition. So the department might um, cancel your visa. Uh, you did not meet the department character test. So basically say you were granted a visa to come here to work and during the working time in Australia, you actually uh, commit an offense related to say drugs or sexual assault or assault or domestic violence or something like that. And um, the, uh, you know, the offense were found, you were found guilty of those offense, then um, you were deemed to not meet the character test and the Department of Home Affairs can actually cancel your visa. And um, other reason would be uh, you provide the false information or false document, bogus document when you apply for those visas. So say, for example, now you have a partner visa, um, but before, when you apply for the partner visa application, you submit down some document about your work or your divorce order is a bogus uh, document. Those things is considered like it's a false information and bogus document. Then the department would be able to um, say that you actually violate section um, criteria 4020 is mean false information and incorrect information and bogus document then they would re cancel your visa uh, another reason was um, beside the character you know you know like I talk about the character test where you fail the character test when you come here and you violate all of those crimes um, normally the, the test would be you were in prison for at least 12 months for this crime uh, and um, or you know or, or you have to serve in jail for that 20 for that 12 month okay um, or you involve in a, a, like a, a paying sponsorship say a lot of people um, they uh, they sponsor uh, people to work in Australia but they get paid for it okay so that is uh, it's called then then the, the visa applicant is deemed to have to to um, you know to have uh, violated the visa criteria therefore the visa will be cancelled also a lot of um, a fake marriage visa a lot of sponsors get paid to sponsor the the, the, the fake partner uh, to Australia. Therefore, the if the department um, discover that, then of course they will cancel the visa applicant um, the that person visa. Okay, a lot of cancellation involved with the student visa, where the student come to Australia, they to study, they're supposed to study in a higher education, but they find the fee is quite expensive. Therefore, they change to another school, which is uh, like like significant lower fee and a lot of uh, those students are found um, to basically um, not a genuine student and the department actually cancel a lot of them uh, their visa and uh, say um, you uh, violate the biometric security so basically when you arrive Australia you normally have an arrival car right and in the arrival car the arrival car asks you whether you bring any plant any soil any food um, thing like that to Australia and you say no but you actually in fact bring it into Australia and those things are a risk for bio uh, biosecurity yeah it's, it's a risk to the Australian agriculture then um, if you actually committed um, you know those offense it might the, the department might cancel your visa so please make sure that you do not make such a very very mistake okay um, and of course uh, say for example if you import uh, like uh, illegal drugs legal goods to Australia of course again you will face visa cancellation and of course, when you get a visa canceled, it's quite hard. You have to come back, uh, you know, you have to get out of Australia on the due date, right? And it's very hard for you to actually reapply again another Australian visa, um, you know, uh, when you really try to apply another 
uh, visa, the Australian department will, will not trust you anymore. You know, it's quite hard for those who get visa cancelled come back to Australia. That's why I encourage you to be, you know, just like a good citizen, as a good per, a person of a good character. So, you know, try to avoid all of those mistakes that you make. Uh, so, you know, so that you don't have to face the visa cancellation. And, you know, normally the visa cancellation, you are barred from applying for at least three years. So make sure that, um, you know, you don't have to violate these things, uh, especially uh, for tourist visa, a lot of people, uh, I understand. I, I know a, uh, um, a Philippine lady who are my uh, my client. She basically she she uh, she got pretty good um, uh, how we say uh, evidence of her job, and she just have a come how we say come um, commitment to uh, to the Philippine. She has children. She has grandchildren. She has a job in the in the Philippine. But somehow she um, she listened to another kind of um, the Philippine uh, the immigration uh, uh, migration agent in the Philippine and and she falsifies the document for her job and then she she violate condition um, four zero two zero which is the incorrect information and bogus document and that's why she was banned to actually apply for. Um, for Australian visa, but uh, luckily she got a, a partner um, in Australia, and they are the compassionate reason for her to apply for uh, for a partner visa. But you know, um, the department doesn't have a good view. Uh, it's, uh, they don't have a good kind of uh, impression on those people who violate that those kind of condition. You know, when you lie to them once, then how can they trust that you don't lie to them the second time? So back to make sure that you don't um, violate um, the visa condition. Make sure you don't uh, commit the criteria for zero to zero, which is leading like info, inc correct information and misleading information or bogus document. And also make sure that you are um, a very good um, a person of good character. You don't involve in any like um, you know underpay her work. Um, uh, you don't involve in any like illegal uh, activity um, and uh, don't involve in any um, assault, any fight, uh, any domestic violence incident, thing like that, then you'll be fine and uh, you'll be safe with your visa. And I hope that this video clip uh, just gives you a little bit of understanding of uh, why you are cancel the visa, okay? Um, and I hope if you like it, you can click like or subscribe to my channel to know more a little bit about the Australian immigration law. Uh, thank you for listening and goodbye.